Hi, everybody, and welcome to UB's Department of Chemistry's 37th Annual Undergraduate Awards and Graduation Ceremony. Uh, unfortunately, it's also the first ever virtual uh, awards and graduation ceremony. Um, I'm sorry for that, but that's just uh, the reality of things right now. Uh, my name is Dave Watson. I am a professor in the Department of Chemistry. I'm also the department chair. Uh, thank you so much, um, graduating seniors, award-winning undergraduate students, uh, family, friends, partners, parents, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, everybody. Thank you so much for um, joining us uh, for what we still hope will be um, an exciting uh, and uh, fulfilling undergraduate awards and graduation ceremony. Uh, every year in this ceremony, uh, typically in person, we honor our graduating seniors uh, as they conclude their um, UB undergraduate experience. Um, and we also uh, honor and award um, outstanding junior, sophomore, and first-year undergraduate students um, uh, on the basis of outstanding performance in our chemistry program. Um, I want to say a couple of words, I guess, at the start of our ceremony, uh, and then we'll kick right into the the um, honoring and awarding uh, of students. You know, a typical spring at the University of Buffalo is a unique and emotional time. Uh, students are wrapping up the semester. Uh, senior undergraduate students are um, completing those last few requirements, wrapping up their undergraduate careers, preparing for that big next step, um, and, you know, also uh, getting ready to say some goodbyes. Uh, it's a bittersweet time uh, in a typical year. Uh, for faculty, uh, it's an opportunity uh, every year in May to celebrate the accomplishments of our students at the undergraduate and graduate levels. Uh, this weekend in May is an awesome time for us. On the Friday, we have uh, graduate commencement. We hood PhD students, uh, which is just so rewarding and um, fulfilling. Uh, and on the weekend, we have uh, the College of Arts and Sciences undergraduate commencement, which is um, equal parts uh, ceremony and party and celebration, and it's just an awesome event. Uh, I hope that graduating seniors um, participate virtually and potentially even come back for one that might occur later um, in person as time allows. Um, it is an awesome weekend generally. And then after CAS um, commencement, College of Arts and Sciences commitment, uh, commencement, we typically have an in-person uh, chemistry awards ceremony. Um, this year it's different uh, and it hurts. Um, I, I so wish we could be together today, um, uh, but the situation dictates, of course, that we can't. So we're going to make the best of it, uh, and we hope that this is a, um, a rewarding and a, and a good ceremony nonetheless, despite the odd format. Um, graduating seniors, I want you to know that um, my colleagues and I on the faculty, we feel for you. Uh, this is not the end of college experience that anyone had in mind. Um, I also want you to know how proud we are of you, um, both for your accomplishments um, throughout your time at UB and in our uh, chemistry program, uh, as well as for the way you've uh, navigated this um, extraordinary second half of your final semester at UB. Um, likewise, uh, undergraduate, uh, sorry, junior, sophomore, and first-year students, uh, I want to thank you as well uh, and congratulate you for making it through the second half of the semester. Um, I also want to thank our faculty um, and staff for um, making the switch uh, for our first time ever from almost completely in-person instruction to essentially completely um, remote instruction. It wasn't always easy, but um, faculty, staff, and students um, worked it out and got through it, and we made it through to this point. Um, no one's quite sure exactly what uh, uh, the fall semester has in store, so returning students, again, we'll figure it out, we'll navigate that. And I thank you in advance, along with our faculty and staff, um, for making it work in the fall as well. Um, in any case, again, graduating seniors, I hope that you just participated in the college's um, commencement ceremony. I hope it was awesome. Uh, and I thank you so much, you and your family and friends, uh, for joining us for this virtual chemistry awards ceremony. I hope in this presentation, that we can convey our pride in your, uh, in your accomplishments, our congratulations, and our wishes for a bright future. Um, with that, here's an outline of what the um, awards and graduation ceremony will entail. Um, point number one, we are in the midst of, again, my name is Dave Watson. I'm the chair of the chemistry department. Um, I'd like to turn it over now to Professor Jerry Keister, our director of undergraduate studies, who also um, would like to say a few words. Welcome. 
I'm Professor Jerry Keister. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Studies in the Department of Chemistry. I'd like to welcome you to the 37th Annual Awards and Graduation Ceremony. I've been here for 40 years and I've been to almost all of them. They're always a great event. Of course, this is unique this year in that this is the first and hopefully the last pre-recorded ceremony. I'd like to congratulate all of our graduating seniors who've had to overcome a truly unique uh, challenge this year to complete their graduation requirements. Uh, it's been my pleasure uh, to serve as your advisor over most of your years at UB. Uh, I wish you continued success. And I hope you will uh, keep in, uh, us informed of your future professional successes down the road in the, in the next year and beyond. I'd also like to uh, congratulate the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior award winners who have done some really great uh, things over the past uh, year or two or three or four. Um, keep up the good work. We're going to have a very challenging year uh, in, the, in, in this year uh, that we're going to have to overcome together. Uh, best wishes to all of you and enjoy your day. Thank you, Professor Keister, uh, for sharing those remarks. Um, before we go further, I also want to personally thank Jerry Keister for um, serving as our Director of Undergraduate Studies for the past nine years. Um, Jerry's going to step down after this academic year. He'll still be on our faculty. Um, but he'll no longer be our Director of Undergraduate Studies. Um, Jerry's done an exemplary job. Um, being Director of Undergraduate Studies um, basically means managing all aspects of the undergraduate program and, most importantly, advising students. Um, Jerry's just done a fantastic job, and we've undertaken some major changes uh, over the past, uh, well, really throughout the duration of his um, tenure as Director. So again, Jerry, thank you so much. Uh, and, and for everything you've done and for being the point of contact for all of the students we're honoring today. Um, all right, let's move through the presentation. So real quickly, I'd like to give an overview of the Department of Chemistry. Certainly students who um, are participating today, graduating seniors and um, juniors, sophomores, and first-year students, you, you know um, some of this, if not all of it, but um, family, friends, um, significant others, et cetera, maybe don't. So. Um, Real quickly, who's here? Here we are um, at Chemistry. We are a department in a research-intensive um, university. That means that our mission is indeed to excel in research and teaching and mentoring and also service, of course, in the basic science of chemistry. In our department, we emphasize in our research health and sustainability, which are overarching sort of umbrellas uh, that encompass the area of areas of research that we perform. Real quickly, by the numbers, again, for those who aren't as familiar with the department, uh, there are 31 of us on the faculty and about half as many staff. Uh, we have a, a huge part of our mission is to teach at the undergraduate level. Um, in the past, over the past couple of years, we've um, taught um, on average about 7,200 uh, or more students. Um, there's some overlap in that. That's the total undergraduate enrollment. Uh, and we have on the order of 235 undergraduate majors. This year we have 50 graduating seniors. Uh, over the past handful of years, we're, we're our department you know, ranks at about the top 30 uh, among United States uh, chemistry departments at various institutions. I think it's a real healthy size for us. I think we're um, big enough that we can offer a, a wide range of instructional opportunities and research opportunities, uh, but we're not so big. I hope that students get um, lost in the shuffle. Uh, also, our graduate program is a huge part of our mission as a department. Um, and graduate students, PhD students in particular, are sort of the lifeblood of our research enterprise. Uh, they also work closely with undergraduate students, both as uh, teaching assistants in helping to deliver instruction in our undergraduate laboratories and also as research mentors uh, for those undergraduate students who've performed research. Um, in any case, we have about 160 graduate students. Um, we publish a bunch of articles every year. That's how we disseminate our research findings to the world. Um, and we bring in money and we spend it. Uh, we bring in money um, from research grants. Uh, we're in the top 50 as a university in, in chemistry research funding, which, um, again, that's a dollar amount. That's fine, but it's an indication of, um, you know, the success of our research program. And the vast majority of those dollars go towards um, supporting students um, to perform the research that we do. In any case, that's who we are, and that's about what we do. Um, moving through the outline, um, next up, we have a uh, a club, an undergraduate chemistry club called the Student Affiliates of the American Chemical Society. Um, they do great work. So here are the officers from the past academic year of the of SACS, the Student Affiliates of the American Chemical Society. Um, and SACS does exactly what's written here. They promote and enable professional advancement of members, and they serve the local communi community, and they educate the community. So some the picture on the right uh, is probably from a couple of years ago at this point, but it's a picture of 
uh, an outreach event uh, here at NSC, um, National Sciences Complex, uh, in which members of SACS were interacting with the public. Um, they often do demos and, and try to convey the excitement of chemistry and research and science uh, to the broader public, uh, both K-12 students and sometimes at um, events at malls and such for truly the broader public. Um, so in any case, they've done awesome work. Uh, our faculty advisor who advises SACS is Professor Jason Benedict, and I'll turn it over now uh, to Jason, who, who will say a few words about SACS. Hey, SACS members. You guys had a great year. Uh, all the outreach you're doing, hooking up with ICEP, running these get-togethers with faculty, that's so important to building a strong chemistry community within our department. We really appreciate it. What you guys are doing is awesome. I know you weren't able to do as much uh, this year as maybe you had hoped, but next year, hopefully things will be uh, more back to normal and SACS can uh, keep on keeping on with all its awesome, awesome activities. Uh, to the seniors that are graduating, good luck, best of luck in your future endeavors. Uh, and for those of you that'll be around next year, I really look forward to working with you. So. Uh, in closing, I'll just say horns up for UB and all of y'all are you Buffalo strong. Okay, thank you, Professor Benedict. Thank you, Jason, um, for that overview of sex. Uh, next, we'll get into the heart of our um, awards and graduation ceremony uh, in which we'll go through a number of awards for our um, outstanding undergraduate chemistry students. We'll start um, with a series of awards that are um, initially for a couple of seniors and then mostly for um, first year, sophomore, and junior year students. Uh, and then at the end, we'll get into the senior awards and we'll honor our graduating class. Um, first up are the William E. Townsend Scholarship Awards, uh, which are given to chemistry majors. Uh, each year we give Townsend Scholarships to outstanding chemistry graduate students with an emphasis on those from Western New York. This year we have two awardees, both of whom are graduating seniors. Catherine Carter and Joshua Hazelness. Congratulations, Catherine and Josh, on your Townsend scholarships. Uh, next up, we have an award for our um, top performing students in our general chemistry program. I mentioned a few minutes ago that we teach uh, an undergraduate enrollment of about 7,200 students overall in the undergraduate program. Uh, each year in general chemistry, 100 level chemistry, um, we have about 2,000, no, we have about 2,600 students in the fall. Uh, and about 1,800 students in the spring. Uh, so it's a large undergraduate enrollment in uh, one of these so-called service classes because general chemistry classes uh, are prerequisites, they're requirements for many, many degree programs at UB. Uh, and so we really serve the university uh, and provide that opportunity for students served across the board university-wide. Our general chemistry award honors just what it says, the top 1% of students on the basis of their performance in these various general chemistry classes, chemistry 101, 102, the main general chemistry sequence, 105, 106, the honors sequence, and 107, 108, the engineering-oriented uh, general chemistry sequence. Again, this is the top 1%, the absolute top performers, uh, performers in our general chemistry program. Uh, if we were in an in-person, typical chemistry undergraduate award ceremony, each student would be called upon to come to the front and receive a handshake and an award. Uh, we're not doing that now, um, but you deserve to have your names heard, so I'm going to read them quickly. Uh, our awardees this year are Ali Ahmed, Anish Avasi, Cam Bass, Linda Chen, Sophia Kronk, Michaela Dawes, Nate Dolan, Katerina Fetsayek, Stephanie Flint, Lily Freeman Striegel, Jessica Jong, Maryam Kirch, Becca Konayil, Sarah Lewis, Joel Mercado, Bryce North, Richard Pasternak, Laura Schultz, Shika Shalat, Bryson Schunk, Abby Talman, and Madison Waldron. Again, congratulations, the best of the best, the top 1%. Congrats to all of you. Uh, at the bottom, you see a bunch of pictures. These are the faculty and staff in our department who um, instructed, who taught in the general chemistry program in the past academic year. In um, any of the first 36 of these award ceremonies, uh, these people will be here and we introduce them and um, family, friends, um, would be able to meet some of the folks who've um, taught these general chemistry students and especially these awardees. Can't do that today, but here's what they look like. Here are their pictures. Um, and I also, as chair of the department, want to thank all of these faculty and staff for, um, okay, for instructing in general chemistry generally, and especially this year, 
for making this um, unprecedented shift from typical in-person instruction to remote instruction midway through a semester. Um, they just did a, a phenomenal job, and so I want to thank them. And again, I want to thank students for adapting on the fly as well. Congratulations again to our general chemistry awardees. Um, next up uh, is the similar award for our um, organic chemistry program. These are sophomore awards for excellence in organic chemistry. Typically, organic chemistry is taken in the sophomore year uh, if students are on the main sequence. Uh, likewise, this award honors the top 1% of the sophomore organic chemistry students, and those courses are Chemistry 201, 202, the main sequence, and 251, 252, uh, the honors sequence. Um, we teach uh, typically about um, a thousand or so students in the organic chemistry program, and so these are the um, absolute top performing students in that program. This year's awardees are Elizabeth Chow, Jimmy Elegate, Elena Kenny, Morgan Mitchell, Sam Nelson, Will Roberts, Serena Tully, Andrew Yarnell, and James Zielinski. Congratulations to all of you for that truly outstanding performance in organic chemistry. Um, also at the bottom of this slide, I've highlighted the faculty and staff who taught in this past academic year in our organic chemistry program. Uh, likewise, um, family and friends, at least uh, you're not here to shake their hands or anything, but at least you um, get, a, get a feel for who is teaching your, um, your award-winning students uh, in organic chemistry over the past year. Likewise, again, I want to thank these faculty and staff um, for their heroic efforts um, in switching mid-semester um, to remote learning. Um, so congratulations to our sophomore organic chemistry awardees. Next up, we have a series of awards for our junior undergraduate chemistry majors. Here we go. First up is the Ralph Thoyer Scholarship Award. Um, this is presented annually to outstanding juniors pursuing a degree in chemistry. Uh, Ralph Thoyer uh, was an undergraduate chemistry um, student back in the day. He received his bachelor's degree in chemistry from UB. He also received a master's degree in science education. Um, Ralph Thoyer's family established the Thoyer Scholarship uh, to honor outstanding students. Uh, pursuing a, deg a degree in chemistry, as it says. And so each year we pr present Thoyer scholarships to some of our very uh, top performing junior undergraduate chemistry majors. Uh, this year's awardees are Christopher Barone, Benjamin Bartula, Luke DeFato, Audrey Hoyt, Lauren Jers, Katrina Ma, Carolyn Peoples, Jake Tosek, and Teresa Wild. Um, congratulations to all of you. I want to comment, you see some photos um, of some of these Thoyer Scholarship Awardees at the bottom of the page. Um, we invited every award-winning student, any award-winning student who was interested and any graduating senior to send us a photo so we could highlight it in this presentation. Again, in a typical in-person awards ceremony, um, we would call students to the front of the room and shake hands and have a photo op and they present, be presented with an award. Um, students who are interested, awesome. Thank you for sending your pictures. Um, this is a nod in the direction of that moment and um, that handshake and photo. Uh, students who didn't send a picture, that's cool too. Um, so uh, throughout the rest of this presentation, um, those who submitted a picture, you'll see it. Uh, those who didn't are just as awesome and deserving of awards, uh, and they're up here as well. Congratulations again to all of our Thoyer Scholarship awardees. Um, next up is the American Chemical Society Division of Analytical Chemistry Undergraduate Award. Um, as the name implies, this award is given to a junior year uh, chemistry student uh, to encourage interest in analytical chemistry and to recognize those outstanding students who display an aptitude for a career in analytical chemistry. Uh, this year's awardee is Katrina Ma. Congratulations, Katrina. Um, this award is presented on the basis of performance uh, both in analytical chemistry courses uh, and in research. Again, congratulations, Katrina, this year's awardee. Next up is the Jane Denton Scholarship. Uh, this scholarship, uh, this is an award given to outstanding junior year female undergraduate students pursuing a degree in chemistry. Jane C. Denton was an undergraduate chemistry major at the University at Buffalo. She also went on to achieve a master's degree uh, years later, also from the University at Buffalo. Um, Jane Denton was an outstanding student. She overcame significant um, health-related hardships in her life, um, and she was uh, she nonetheless went on to achieve these two degrees, and she worked for years in the uh, in the universities uh, with the university's communications group. Uh, this award was established um, by her classmates uh, in recognition of her legacy and the way she inspired classmates um, and many at the university in overcoming the hardships that um, that she overcame. 
Uh, so each year, our department is um, has the opportunity to award Jane C. Denton scholarships to these outstanding junior year, year female undergraduate students uh, in honor of Jane Denton's legacy and in recognition of their attributes uh, and how they mirror Ms. Denton's. This year's awardees are Lauren Jurs, Carolyn Peoples, and Teresa Wilde. Congratulations to all three of you, Jane Denton Scholarship Awardees. Next up is the Peter Lansbury Chemistry Award, which is given to deserving undergraduate chemistry majors, preferably in their junior year. Um, Peter Lansbury was a member of our faculty in the Department of Chemistry. This award was established um, by Dr. Joe Vaca, a former PhD student who worked with Professor Lansbury. Um, Professor Lansbury had a long and prolific career in synthetic organic chemistry, uh, and Dr. Vaca established this award um, to support undergraduate um, research students. So the Lansbury Award is, uh, is uh, an award that typically supports summer research. It's a little bit to be determined this year because we're not yet doing research, um, but we hope to get back very, very soon. Um, so if all goes well, our two awardees this year, Brandon Oligny and Teresa Wild, uh, will get in the lab this summer and perform research. If not, they'll do research um, when circumstances allow. Either way, um, they receive this award and some support. Um, congratulations, Brandon, who will perform research with Professor Jason Benedict, and congratulations, Teresa, who will, will perform research with Steve Diver. Uh, those are Lansbury Chemistry Awardees. Congratulations again. Next up is the Albert Padua Chemistry Award, uh, which is also given to a deserving undergraduate chemistry major, preferably in the junior year or completing the junior year. Uh, Al Padua was a member of our faculty for years. He's also an organic chemist. Um, and he at some point left and uh, joined the chemistry faculty at Emory University. Um, but uh, this award was established uh, in recognition of his legacy here and accomplishments at UB. Uh, likewise, the Padua Award supports undergraduate research. This year's awardee is Elizabeth Stipple. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth will perform hopefully summer research with Professor Janet Morrow. And if it's not this summer, it will be as circumstances allow. Again, congratulations, Elizabeth this year's Padua awardee. Okay, next up we have um, a number of awards for outstanding graduating seniors in the class of 2020. Our awards for outstanding graduating senior chemistry students, here they come. Uh, first up, we have a series of, of awards um, tied to students' overall performance in terms of GPA, grade point average, in our chemistry program. Uh, these are students who are graduating with honors. Uh, and distinction. Um, so the first category is students graduating with distinction, departmental honors, the Academic Excellence in Chemistry Award, as indicated by that overall outstanding GPA. This year's awardees are Alejandro Becerra Jr., Catherine Carter, Patrick Chung, Thomas Melody, Nyuk Nguyen, Alexia Pizzino, and James Worley. Congratulations for those seniors graduating with distinction. We have another group of seniors graduating with distinction. Um, this one is referred to as the Academic Excellence in Medicinal Chemistry Award. Our department offers actually two different degree programs. We offer bachelor's degrees in chemistry and in medicinal chemistry, more on the biological and drug discovery and medicinal side. Uh, so this year we have two seniors graduating with distinction with degrees in medicinal chemistry. They are Madison Matthews and Nyuk Thai Mai Nguyen. Congratulations to both of you. Uh, next up, we have seniors graduating with high distinction with even more impressive GPAs. These are also academic excellence and chemistry awards. This year's awardees are Alexis Cartarella and Samantha Galbo. Congratulations, Alexis and Samantha. We have one senior graduating this year um, with high distinction uh, and receiving an academic excellence in both chemistry and medicinal chemistry. This year's awardee in this category was a dual major, chemistry and medicinal chemistry, and that student is Heian Kwan. Congratulations, Heian. And we have one student graduating with high distinction in that GPA range, um, receiving an academic excellence in medicinal chemistry award. That's Dustin Yeomans. Congratulations, Dustin. Okay, and moving up the GPA ladder, I suppose, we have a handful of seniors graduating with highest distinction and those really, truly impressive GPAs, essentially across the board, um, straight A students, just outstanding performance. 
Uh, these students who are receiving an academic excellence in chemistry award are Kyle Boyd, Joshua Hazelness, Alexander Manley, and Jennifer Seidman. Congratulations to the four of you graduating with highest distinction. Likewise, we have one student graduating with highest distinction with a degree in medicinal chemistry award. That's Ziru Lin. Congratulations um, for this remarkable overall performance throughout the undergraduate pr program. Congratulations to all of our students graduating with distinction. Next up, we have a handful of individual awards um, sponsored by uh, various organizations and entities uh, that recognize various aspects of excellence throughout the undergraduate program uh, in chemistry. First up is the Taylor and Francis Award, uh, which recognizes a senior chemistry major for outstanding scholarship. This year's awardee is Jacqueline Raymond. Uh, who was outstanding both in the classroom and in the research laboratory with Professor Morrow. Uh, congratulations, Jacqueline, on the Taylor and Francis Award. Next up is the Senior Merck Award, which is awarded annually to recognize an outstanding graduating chemistry major. Uh, the Senior Merck Award comes from the Royal Society of Chemistry. This year's awardee is Zuru Lin, uh, who also is a research active student, uh, as we'll hear soon. Congratulations, Zuru, on the Senior Merck Award. Next up, we have a, a couple of um, disciplinary awards from the American Chemical Society. Uh, the first is the American Chemical Society's Division of Inorganic Chemistry Award, which recognizes a, a graduating senior chemistry major who has displayed significant aptitude for inorganic chemistry uh, and is hopefully will hopefully encourage further interest in the field. Uh, so this award is given on the basis of performance both in the classroom in inorganic classes. Uh, and in inorganic instructional laboratory courses, uh, as well as in research. This year's awardee is Heian Kwan. Um, congratulations, Heian, on receiving the ACS Inorganic Chemistry Award. Next, we have the corresponding Organic Chemistry Award from the American Chemical Society. Likewise, this award recognizes a senior chemistry major who has displayed significant aptitude for organic chemistry and likewise hopefully encourages further interest in the field. This year's ACS Organic Chemistry Awardee is Joshua Hazelness. Um, there's another picture of Josh looking scholarly um, and like an appropriate recipient recipient of the ACS Organic Chemistry Award. Congratulations, Joshua, for your outstanding performance in organic chemistry and for receiving this award. Um, also, I want to note uh, we don't uh, we're not, we don't have this every year in our undergraduate graduation and award ceremony, but um, this is really a notable achievement by Josh Hazel Hazelness. So Josh found out a couple months ago. Uh, that he has received a National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship and the NSF Graduate Research Fellowship Program, as it says, recognizes and supports outstanding grad students in NSF-supported science, technology, engineering, and math disciplines, STEM disciplines, who will pursue research-based graduate degrees um, anywhere in the U.S. And so what this means is that um, having received the NSF Graduate Research Fellowship, um, Josh, who is headed to the University of Michigan's Ph.D. program in chemistry, uh, he's going to get a full ride uh, to support his Ph.D. studies um, and a, an extra healthy stipend um, from the National Science Foundation. Um, this is really a prestigious award. Um, the award rate, the success rate, is about 15% in students. A competitive process, students apply to the NSF, and 15% of them are given this award. So it's quite a prestigious recognition by the NSF. Uh, and congratulations, Josh. Um, we're quite proud. Uh, next up, we have um, the American Chemical Society's Division of Physical Chemistry Award, which recognizes a senior chemistry major who displays a significant aptitude for physical chemistry and hopefully also encourages further interest in the field. It's another disciplinary award from the ACS. This year's Physical Chemistry Award uh, is given to Alexander Manley. Congratulations, Alex. Again, this, is, this award is given on the basis uh, of performance in coursework uh, and in research, uh, all-encompassing award. Congratulations, Alex. Um, next up, we have the American Institute of Chemists Award, which recognizes demonstrated record of ability and leadership and professional promise from the American Institute of Chemists. Uh, Chemists is not disciplinary. It's a broader in scope award chemistry-wide. This year's awardee is James Worley. Congratulations, James, um, on the American Institute of Chemists Award. Next up, we have uh, a corresponding award from uh, the Western New York section of the American Chemical Society. This award is given to out honor an outstanding senior chemistry major, um, again, 
in recognition of outstanding superior performance across the board in our undergraduate program. This year's awardee is Alex Manley. Congratulations, Alex, on receiving the ACS Western New York Local Section Chemistry Award. Likewise, the Western New York section of the American Chemical Society um, recognizes uh, a student with the, an, uh, with the ACS Medicinal Chemistry Award, uh, which awards and honors an outstanding senior medicinal chemistry major, again, for across-the-board performance uh, and excellence in our undergraduate program. This year's awardee is Dustin Yeomans. Congratulations, Dustin, on this ACS MedChem Award. Um, this isn't an award per se, but um, I want to uh, recognize uh, two students, Alex Manley and Jennifer Seidman, who served our department and our college. We're, we're the chemistry department. We're within the College of Arts and Sciences at UB. Um, Alex and Jennifer were college ambassadors for the department and the College of Arts and Sciences over the past academic year. Uh, as it says here, college ambassadors are volunteers um, who, okay, they demonstrate commitment to academic excellence. That's a prerequisite to be considered uh, as a college ambassador. Uh, and also community engagement. And so basically what they do is they represent the department and the college at various events. Um, they are liaisons between the dean's office and the student body, uh, unquestionably. Uh, and they, they just that. They represent the department. They represent the college at all kinds of different events, especially as we engage with prospective students and family members and such. Um, and they also provide insight, advice, and info. There it is, to current and prospective students and parents and families. So they've really served our department and the college uh, capably, uh, they volunteered and committed time uh, in their extremely busy schedules. So I just want to recognize Alex and Jennifer and thank both of you for serving as college ambassadors this year. Uh, also, thanks on behalf of our college um, and our department. Okay, thanks so much um, for serving in that role. Uh, finally, we are, or not finally, um, also from the College of Arts and Sciences, uh, each year CAS, the College of Arts and Sciences, uh, gives out one award to the outstanding senior from each department in the college. So the College of Arts and Sciences Outstanding Senior Award recognizes academic excellence exemplified by an exceptional GPA, election to honor society's participation in, in research and academic achievements. Uh, it's a top award for a graduating senior from the College of Arts and Sciences. This year's awardee is Alexander Manley. Congratulations, Alex, on being the College of Arts and Sciences Outstanding Senior awardee from the Department of Chemistry. Um, next up is the Joseph and Louise Tufiriello Award, which is presented annually to the top graduating seniors in the Department of Chemistry. Uh, Joe Tufiriello was a faculty member in the Department of Chemistry. He was also chair of the department for a number of years. He was dean of what was then the Faculty of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Um, Joseph and Louise Tufiriello established this award um, and uh, to honor Joe Tafiriello's parents um, for everything they did to set him on the path to an academic career and a career in academic leadership as well. Uh, so each year, the Department of Chemistry um, has the opportunity to present the Tafiriello Award to the top graduating seniors in the class. This year's um, Tafiriello awardees are Alex Manley and Jennifer Seidman. Uh, congratulations, Alex and Jennifer, for your truly outstanding performance uh, throughout the academic program, the undergraduate program in chemistry at UB. This year's to Fiorello awardees. That concludes our list of awardees. Again, congratulations to all of the awardees at all levels. Um, doesn't conclude our program, um, but real quickly before we move on to the final part of our program, which will be recognizing graduating seniors, um, I want to um, thank Mrs. Priscilla B. Clark. Um, Priscilla Clark has been a member of our UB chemistry community, a member of the university for 65 years. Um, she came here 65 years ago as a, as a first year undergraduate student and she never left. She was an undergraduate student and then she took a position as a researcher um, in the lab of Professor Howard Tiekelman. She then moved into a staff role in our department first as a lecture demonstrator and then for years as a, the director of our general chemistry laboratory program she also took on duties scheduling all of our courses, which is not a minor duty uh, in our department at this university. Uh, she's also um, been a donor uh, and I'll say a champion of students in the department. And in particular, Priscilla Clark has supported the undergraduate program at UB and um, our undergraduate awards program and this event uh, for years and years. So truly, Priscilla, on behalf of everyone in the department, um, thank you for everything you've done 
Um, I should say, <laughs> I should have said at the outset, this slide is coming now because Mrs. Clark um, is going to retire this summer. Um, and we wish, uh, on behalf of all of the department and my colleagues, I wish you nothing but happiness um, and health uh, in your retirement. Thank you for everything, Mrs. Clark. Okay, next up, uh, I'd like to um, take a moment, or my colleagues and I would like to take a moment to recognize graduating seniors who have performed original research uh, in the department. So um, not all students perform research, but um, these students did. So we have 10 graduating students who participated in uh, research. So certainly any, you know, for those who aren't familiar with chemistry or the way an undergraduate program works, um, certainly students take courses. We've talked about performance and coursework throughout. Some of those courses involve, you know, classroom discussion, lectures, recitations, teaching laboratories, uh, et cetera, throughout from first year through sophomore organic chemistry up into upper level undergraduate courses. Um, but also the students um, who major in chemistry have the opportunity to work in research laboratories. Uh, they work in, the, you know, they perform research. They do this uh, as a four credit experience. Some of the awards we talked about uh, earlier uh, support students to do research over the summer as well. Uh, and so this is really, um, you know, it's a, it's not unique to chemistry, but it's, um, and, you know, performing laboratory research is unique to science and engineering. Um, and it's just, it's different. It's above and beyond um, coursework and instructional laboratory, like Gen Chem lab type of um, laboratory work. Uh, it really gets students engaged in um, the, you know, understanding and learning and contributing to uh, scientific discovery, forming hypotheses, designing and executing experiments to evaluate hypotheses, uh, interpreting data going right back to the drawing board and, and forming new hypotheses in reaction. Uh, and so it's really an exciting part of the undergraduate program. And these are some of our, you know, most uh, keenly interested in scientific research students and most dedicated. Uh, and so we had 10 graduating students. Uh, they are Justin Bassett, Alexis Cartarella, David Gadawa Frank, Josh Hazelness, Heian Kwan, Ziru Lin, Alex Manley, Dan Lin Pham, Jacqueline Raymond, and Dustin Yeomans. These 10 students perform research. Uh, and I'd like to turn it over now. Sorry, I should say that um, traditionally in our in-person undergraduate awards and graduation ceremony, um, we, we um, have faculty um, stand up and say a few words about the research experience and about the student and how they've done in the lab, that sort of thing, uh, and wish them well. Uh, we can't do that in person this year, but I'd like to turn it over now uh, to research advisors who've, uh, who will say a few words about these graduating research students. Hi everyone, my name is Ekin Attila and I'd like to say a few words on one of our graduates, Justin Bassett, who is finishing our program uh, this year. So Justin took two of my classes and also did undergraduate research in my group as well. So I met Justin a little over a year ago now when he uh, took my biochemistry course during spring of 2019. He also uh, took another uh, course with me in the fall uh, and he did really well in both of these courses. He aced them. He really stood out among his peers, you know, contributing um, substantially to in-class discussions and showing genuine interest on these subjects. And I guess, you know, aligning with this interest in these topics, he uh, joined my research group in the fall and he has been working on uh, protein modification in a cellular process that is really important for different type of uh, human pathologies, um, uh, you know, together with graduate students. So uh, in addition to doing his own uh, work, uh, Justin has really become a good citizen of the lab. Um, he was always helpful to people uh, whenever they needed help. And, uh, you know, we appreciate your uh, contributions to our program, Justin. Uh, great job in your classes and uh, best of luck to whatever is coming next for you. We'll miss you. And I'd like to say a few words uh, for Alexis Cardarella, who is uh, one of our graduates this year. So I met Alexis last year when she took my biochemistry course. Um, so Alexis was a student uh, with interest in analytical chemistry. And I think the topics that we covered in my course really made her to think about the applications of uh, routine tools that we use in analytical chemistry to more biological systems. So after a summer internship that uh, took place in industry, uh, when uh, she returned to our program in the fall, Alexis approached me um, asking for undergraduate research opportunities. And she uh, joined actually uh, my group and Dr. Gardella's group and worked on a collaborative project that really allowed her 
to integrate uh, her interest in analytical chemistry and uh, you know biological questions and she worked towards developing a mass spectrometry based imaging method to image uh, lipids in cells, which is not an easy undertaking. So um, Alexis has done really well in her classes, in the research setting as well. And uh, these efforts have been recognized by several awards, including the uh, Analytical Chemistry uh, Division Award from American Chemical Society, and also our department's uh, Senior Alumni Award as well. So Alexis actually completed her coursework in December and was recruited to work at the company that she did a summer internship last year. And I know that she's been working there for some time now. Alexis, we hope that you're doing well uh, and we miss you. Uh, take care. Hi, everyone. Joe Gardella here. I, I just like to uh, offer my congratulations to Alexis Cardarella uh, for her graduation at the end of the fall semester and thank her for the really uh, excellent work she did in a joint project with Dr. Attila's laboratory and my laboratory, uh, especially with help from Shohini Sen in my laboratory. Uh, Alexis was uh, really uh, uh, a very professional uh, undergraduate researcher. Uh, she was able to uh, learn how to operate and uh, used the software for the time of flight sims and contributed greatly to the work uh, uh, in the fall semester. Uh, what's really meaningful to me is the fact that Alexis got a job right away uh, and uh, some of her experiences uh, were uh, important, uh, in, uh, her undergraduate research experiences were important in getting that job. So congratulations on graduation. And thanks uh, from my research group and from me, along with Dr. Attila's, uh, for the uh, great work you did in your undergraduate research. Hi, everyone. I just want to offer my congratulations to David Godawa Frank, uh, who worked in our laboratory uh, all this past year, uh, starting in fall 2019, and continued uh, in the lab until we were all sent home to work from home uh, this semester. David uh, worked on two different projects in the fall. He worked on a tissue engineering project with Lauren Lubecki and my group, uh, learned how to run uh, the XPS instrument and collected a lot of data uh, with Lauren. And then this semester had been working with Abby Snyder, uh, uh, collecting data from the time of flight sims on an environmental project until uh, he was cut short uh, from doing experimental work. Thanks, David, for being part of our laboratory. You were uh, really a responsive and uh, good communicator. Uh, we uh, appreciated your participation. Good luck uh, after graduation and uh, look forward to hearing from you in the future. Hi, my name is Tim Cook. I'm a professor in the department, and I'd like to say a few words about Josh Hazelness, one of our graduates. Uh, Josh has been an exceptional undergrad over the years. He has been doing undergrad research in my group since September of 2017. And, and way back then, he reached out to me as a chemical engineering major interested in getting some research experience. And it was really perfect timing, because at the time, we had just started working on a flow cell device and we really needed someone with an engineering background to get this up and running and optimized. And so that's what he started at in the group. Um, but, but pretty quickly, he became very interested in, in the fundamental chemistry of this sort of research and decided to dual major in chemistry. And so chemical engineering and chemistry dual major, although it sounds similar, that's not an easy thing to pull off. The advanced classes are totally different. And he was able to manage that and really excel in the classroom while at the same time doing a lot of undergrad research over each semester. Um, the lab was really fortunate. He was really um, fortunate to receive a summer fellowship, the Lansbury Fellowship. So he was able to stay and get some extra time in the lab. Um, and 
that's just one of many awards and recognitions that he received during his time at UB, both internally um, with some competitions, some, some um, poster prizes and an undergrad research presentation prize, but also externally. So Josh uh, most recently received an NSF Graduate Research Fellowship, um, which is a, a really big deal. That's a really noteworthy award that will support him um, in his PhD studies. He's off to the University of Michigan um, in the fall to begin um, pursuing a PhD in chemistry. And so he's really been an incredible addition to the group over the years, um, not just in terms of his just drive to get research done, but also just being a supportive member of the lab and, and, and helping whoever needs help at whatever time they need it. And so um, Josh, we're really sad to see you go, but we know that you're going on to do great things um, and we wish you all the best of luck in the future. Thanks. Hey Ann Kwan performed research in my laboratory. Um, she also was a student in my chemistry 321 class in fall of 2018. That's when we first met. Um, our first eight or 10 conversations, I think, in chemistry 321 consisted of Hey Ann explaining to me repeatedly that her name is Hey Ann and not Hi Ann. Uh, we worked that part out. Um, and, you know, the rest is history. So in chemistry 321, Hey Ann's performance was just off the charts, um, just really outstanding performance. Uh, she won our uh, Chemistry 321 as an inorganic chemistry class, and Hayen was awarded with our uh, ACS Inorganic Chemistry Award, largely on the basis of her performance there. So in any case, I was ecstatic when Hayen came to me towards the end of that semester to express an interest in joining my research lab. Uh, and again, the rest is history. So Hayen has worked in my lab for the past, um, past ac academic year, um, and her research involved uh, some materials synthesis uh, and some electrochemistry. Uh, and a bit of photochemistry as well. And so Hayen's project involved uh, making, uh, depositing cobalt phosphate thin films onto electrodes as uh, oxidation catalysts as part of a broader uh, collaborative research project involving uh, photocatalysis, which means hitting things with light uh, and making reactions uh, go faster. Um, and there's an energy conversion and a, and a solar photochemistry component to the overall project. Uh, Hayen made great strides on helping us as a research group figure out how to um, deposit cobalt phosphate films um, sort of more efficiently and with better control over their morphology and their properties. Uh, so, and, and along the way, I think Hayan learned some um, good fundamental aspects of electrochemistry and materials characterization and such. Um, and just overall, Hayan, great job. Thank you. Um, Hayan, I think, is headed into a uh, gap year. I think it was already the plan. And then... Um, now it's definitely the plan, given the, the prevailing uncertainties. Um, so in any case, Hayen, thank you so much for everything you've done. Um, and um, best of luck, best of luck in the short term uh, getting back home. Uh, I hope that works out very soon. Uh, and keep in touch. Thanks again for everything. And congratulations uh, as you graduate. Congratulations to Ziru Lin. Ziru is doing undergraduate research in my lab. She's studying medicinal chemistry, a BS, MS degree, and uh, I've managed to get her interested in inorganic chemistry, in particular iron. She's working on iron contrast agents and has a particularly challenging project, which involves a lot of chromatographic separations, and she's very diligently working on that. She's also a great scholar. She was one of the top students in my biochemistry course, the Chemistry 312. She never missed a class, trudged in through a rather harsh uh, winter, early morning class. In addition, she has two kids and helps out in the family business. So she's obviously very well organized, quite a scholar, a good synthetic chemist. And I look forward to being able to meet with you again when things open back up to discuss your research and uh, your future career. Congratulations. Alex Manley performed research um, in my research group. Um, Alex uh, and I first met when he was a student in Chemistry 321, Inorganic Chemistry, in the fall 2018 semester. Alex's performance was just off the charts. Um, he sat front and center every class, was super engaged, uh, and just nailed it on all the assignments. Uh, truly just a fantastic performance. Uh, and so I was very excited when um, Alex approached me about the possibility of doing research in my laboratory. 
Um, he applied for and won last year our department's um, Al Padua Fellowship, which supported him last summer, summer 2019, to perform research. Uh, so that got him a great head start into undergraduate research. He could devote uh, full effort over the summer, uh, learn a lot, get going quickly. Uh, so it was a great start. And then over the past academic year, Alex has con uh, continued performing undergrad research um, in, in our research group. Uh, Alex's project um, involves making heterostructures of, of small semiconductor particles. These semiconductors are called quantum dots. They exhibit uh, neat size-dependent properties. Our group has looked at these um, types of materials, uh, our group and others, for some time now. Um, Alex's project involved basically using reactions between, between molecules on the surfaces of these particles uh, to connect them together and also then using surface chemistry to um, deposit these heterostructures onto thin films of semiconductors. And it was all towards the goal of uh, making materials that absorb light and move electrons around uh, for energy conversion and, and solar photochemistry. Uh, we have, as a research group, been engaged in this particular area for uh, about five or six years, this exact aspect of that type of chemistry. Uh, but Alex took us in a good new direction with, with um, using quantum dots, semiconductor particles of different compositions, and he really worked out a lot of the chemistry uh, and the materials assembly. So Alex, thank you. Great job. Uh, we'll keep after it and keep on this direction after you've gone. Um, Alex is um, headed to University of Rochester to perform um, graduate studies in materials science and engineering. And Alex, best of luck. You will thrive. Uh, you're going to shine in that program. Uh, congratulations truly on everything you've accomplished here at UB uh, as a top graduating senior. Thanks so much. Good luck, Alex. Good afternoon, everyone. Congratulations to our graduating seniors in this accomplishment. I want to thank one graduating senior in particular, and that's Don Lin Pham, who has been my group for her senior year of research. Don's worked on all kinds of different things in the group, but most recently she's worked in developing microwave dielectric heating for a proteomic analysis. And she, along with a graduate student, Maria Rivera, have developed it to the point where we in placed it into our senior level instrumental analysis course. And of course, she worked on this through the fall. And then uh, we were ready to implement this for the spring laboratory in which this actual course would be offered. And then this whole thing happened. So Dan and Maria had to scramble over a few weeks in order to take a laboratory that they had really crafted into a nice experiment and turn it into something that people could do remotely. And so she was really worked hard during her graduate or her undergraduate career in, in research. Dan has been an excellent addition to our group. We really got lucky. She's clever and quick-witted. She has great insights. And she's also an excellent laboratory citizen. And so we have been really fortunate to have her involved in all aspects of our group. So on behalf of myself, as well as graduate stu students, Chris and Maria, Kelsey, Eric and Jensen, we want to wish Dan all the best of luck in the world. And don't be a stranger. Congratulations to Jacqueline Raymond. Jacqueline is doing undergraduate research in my laboratory uh, over this past year. Uh, she's working on a project on paramagnetic uh, cobalt complexes as paracest agents for magnetic resonance imaging. I first met Jacqueline in Chemistry 322, uh, which is a synthetic inorganic chemistry, and I was so impressed with her crystalline products that I thought she would really excel at uh, doing uh, research on inorganic complexes. So I invited her to work in my lab. Currently, with everything being shut down, um, we're working on a review chapter on paracest agents, capitalizing on her love of writing and background in liberal arts as well as chemistry. So congratulations, Jacqueline. Congratulations to everyone. Um, I hope to see you all again when we have the opportunity to open back up. Greetings and hello. Um, I'm Steve Diver. I'm an organic chemist. I work on the fifth floor of NSC. And um, I'm here to talk about today to talk about my um, interaction with Dustin Humans, who's co-worker, uh, undergraduate co-worker in my group, for a little over a year now. Um, one of the real pleasures, I guess, uh, one of the, the perks of being a professor is getting to work with people in not only in the classroom and teach, but also to um, advise them in undergraduate research. 
I, I think it's particularly satisfying because um, undergraduates, you know, at this level, these are usually juniors and seniors, are kind of developing their research interests. They're learning, they're learning chemistry. They're learning what they like, and they're kind of plotting their trajectory, their career career trajectory, their their career path. And you get to influence that a little bit, um, for better or for worse. I mean, sometimes undergraduate research undergraduates don't necessarily like what they're doing, and they try to find something they do like. And that I tell them that that's also part of what we do. Well, it was my pleasure to interact with um, Dustin Humans. I taught a, an intermediate organic chemistry laboratory course in um, fall of 2018. And Dustin was, was uh, one of the, the best student in the class, um, one of the best students in the class, showed a lot of aptitude for doing um, organic chemistry research. He enjoyed being in the laboratory. He interacted really well with the TAs. He, did, he just, he really ate it up. He really enjoyed it. He joined my group thereafter and put him on a project with a graduate student, Kyle Delgado, and it was a pretty difficult project. Um, some of the reactions we do are just, just these, these um, ruthenium carbene catalyzed reactions. It's a, it's a sensitive transition metal catalyzed reaction. And Dustin picked those up right away, and he went on and did some cobalt hydride chemistry, which is even harder than the, the uh, Grubbs carbene complex mediated enine metathesis reactions. So he learned some really challenging chemistry. They didn't always work the first time. Um, and he got to learn the process of trying to, to um, figure out what you did wrong and, and persevere and, and keep trying until you get the reaction to work. And he showed a lot of patience, um, persistence in his, in his work. Um, I enjoyed seeing Dustin Laboratory kind of had his own desk. He brought, would have his computer in there, he'd be running reaction. Maybe he'd have a cup of coffee and he just, you could tell he was, not only was he doing the chemistry, but he was also um, sort of studying too. Um, and oftentimes he, he would go and, um, and be out of the lab for periods of time as he, as he prepared for his tests and worked on his other classes, which I fully um, encouraged him to do. One of the great things about Dustin is, um, you know, Dustin's a quiet worker. He you know, gets things done. He understands, he, you know, can, can explain things to him. He, he, he rapidly picks up what's going on. He enjoyed working with the graduate students. I kind of considered him to be one of my other graduate students. And the really notable thing about him is, is the project he worked on with Kyle on this, this kind of new area for us, this cobalt chemistry. Um, Dustin was what worked with Kyle hand in hand, um, the graduate student and undergraduate, and got this project done. It went to Organic Letters. It got published just this year. Um, a, a pretty good journal, and it's really remarkable for undergraduates to do undergraduate research for only about a year in Dustin's case, a little less than that, and they get a, a publication out of it. I think is really commendable. It shows how hard he worked, um, and I'm glad he had something to show for it. And before the virus kind of shut us down, he was working on a new project um, on this, this ring expansion chemistry, making these chiral um, alkynes for ring expansion metathesis, and, and making progress on that project, too. I think he would have we would have had another manuscript by now, um, and we're, we'll still work on it when we get back to the lab. So I think doing all these things, really prepare, this, participating in all these different projects with these different catalysts and working through characterizing um, intermediates, characterizing reaction products, writing the manuscript, getting a paper out, um, doing challenging reactions and figuring out what, what you're doing wrong and, try, and trying to fine tune it. It really it was something Dustin really enjoyed doing. And I'm glad he's going on to graduate school. I think that these skills that he's learned at UB, um, he's really taken advantage of some of the things we have. We have a good, uh, a really excellent um, undergraduate program that prepares students. But, you know, the students have to be interested in, in taking all those opportunities and really getting the most out of their education here. And Dustin's done that. And I think it's going to serve him very well as he goes on to his graduate studies. He's already shaped um, where he wants to go uh, in terms of his interests. And I think it's going to really help him jumpstart his career in graduate school. So it's been a real pleasure, Dustin. Um, congratulations to you um, graduating. Um, good luck in your future career. I'm sure we'll be in touch. Um, and, and again, congratulations to your family too. Okay. Thank you, faculty colleagues, for those uh, for sharing those thoughts about our graduating seniors who have performed research in the department. Uh, the final part of this year's virtual undergraduate uh, awards and graduation ceremony. Uh, is to recognize the entire UB Chemistry undergraduate class of 2020. Uh, if we were in the in-person ceremony, uh, we call each student up and they come down and shake hands and receive a certificate upon their graduation, and we line everyone up for an excellent photo. We can't do that this year. Uh, it's such a nice moment always, but we obviously can't do it. Uh, but so instead, um, I'd like to recognize each student um, 
individually briefly, uh, but individually um, and truly congratulations to all of you. So our UB chemistry class of 2020 uh, is as follows. Daria Baranda, Justin D. Bassett, Alejandro Becerra Jr., Cassandra Bell, Kyle R. Boyd, Alexis Cartarella, Catherine E. Carter, Patrick Chung, Joanne Z. Kui, Marissa A. DaCosta, Kyron Farsea, Samantha A. Galbo, David Gadawa Frank, Joshua P. Hazelness, Sarah K. Hold, Song Y. Jun, Yemna Khan, Anurag Krishnan, Heian Kwan, Yangju Kwan, August Lam, Megan M. Lattimore, Aristide M. Leon, Ziru Lin, Alexander Manley, Kiara Martinborough, Madison K. Matthies, Thomas J. Melody, Nicholas Murr, Nyok Thai Mai Win, Mai Nitta, Omran S. Omar, Nina Parker, Alexia Pazino, Dan L. Pham, Jacqueline Raymond, Jasmine E. Reyes, Kevin A. Rodriguez, Cheyenne, Cheyenne L. Santiago, Jennifer Seedman, Pasang L. Sherpa, Heather L. Sullivan, Yawen Tan, Diamond Valian, Michael Walls, James Worley, Olivia K. Young, Dustin D. Yeomans, Yuhan Zhao, Kathy Zheng. That's our UB Chemistry Class of 2020. Truly congratulations to all of you um, on your graduation. Um, best of luck with whatever comes next. Many of you are going on to a graduate or professional school. Many of you are heading out into the real world. It's a crazy time, but um, you'll work it out. Congratulations to all of you. Truly, please keep in touch. Uh, drop us a line. Follow us. Join us on social media. Stop by. I wrote eventually because we're not there right now. Stop by when the time comes for a visit. Let's please keep in touch. You will always have a home in UB's Department of Chemistry. Truly, congratulations, graduates. Go get them. Best of luck. Congrats for everything. That concludes our 37th annual undergraduate awards and graduation ceremony. Truly, congratulations again to our graduates and to all of the awardees, juniors, sophomores, and first-year students. Those who are returning will see you in some capacity uh, for the fall semester. Can't wait to get it going. Uh, and before too long, we'll be back to normal. 
Um, and I can't wait for that either. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Congratulations once more to our graduating seniors uh, and to all undergraduate chemistry awardees. Thanks so much. Stay safe, stay well, take care. Thanks again.